limitations or barriers for people to kind of push through that to get to the other side? And what I mean by other side is moving forward in their life. Well, I think we're our own worst enemy, right? I think the questions we ask ourselves, like, why did he run off with her? Or what's wrong with me? Or why don't they love me anymore? We're keeping ourselves stuck with questions like that. So I think quite often it's really us, that are, uh, the people that are keeping ourselves stuck. So it's just a question. Okay, so I'm Dr. Colin Zhu. We are uh, here on Thrive Bites podcast. We're at the Best View Expo at LA. This is the third day. Tell us a little bit about what you do and what you represent. Yeah, so I'm Sarah Davison, the divorce coach, and I help people to cope better with any kind of breakup or divorce. Um, I also am a twice best-selling author, and I am a podcaster, and I have a training school, an international training school, teaching people to become breakup and divorce coaches as well. So you have a whole academy then? Yeah, I do. Yeah, we've trained over 350 coaches in 18 different countries now, so yeah. I love it. Why in this area was it important for you to kind of focus your energies and passions in? Great question. Um, comes from my own very traumatic divorce. Didn't see it coming. Been coaching for about 15 years when I got divorced um, and it hit me like a freight train. So my ex had met someone else. We worked together. We had a global business. We had offices in Sydney and in London, uh, Sydney, Australia and London. And I literally didn't see it coming. So overnight, I lost, well, the father of my son who was one at the time. Uh, yeah, I became a single parent. I lost my business partner. I mean, my whole life was... It, I was in overwhelm. A lot of the ugly crying on the bathroom floor. Um, and then I thought, you know what? I've got a choice. I either pick myself up and I do something different or I'm going to carry this forever. So I decided to combine my coaching experience with the divorce process I was thrown into just to see if I could create some tools to get me and my son through this. Um, and that's what I did. And as I got through it, my actual divorce attorney said to me, Sorry, you should write a book on this because you've really coped well with a very difficult divorce. Um, and so I did, and it became a bestseller, and then it just really took off. And weirdly, no one else is really doing this when everyone on the planet goes through heartbreak, right? So it's quite useful. <laughs> yeah, that's a very interesting niche and to kind of just fall your, you know, fall into. What are some of the impact that have you seen in your audience members? Well, the tools I teach are transformational. So I, I, it's not like counseling or therapy. It can take quite a long time. In one session, we look to get those what I call light bulb moments where people start to, well, we shine a light for them on their unconscious behavior. So it becomes conscious. So any of their coping mechanisms, any of their behavior patterns that are keeping them stuck, anything that's triggering the sadness or the hurt or the pain over and over again, we really look at that, raise it to the conscious mind, and then we give them tools to cope with that, change their behaviors, do things differently. So we you get very quick results um, depending on where you are in the process we have lots of different tools for every different scenario whether that's heartbreak or conflict or parenting so yeah it's probably the fastest way I know to get yourself back up after a breakup top three I guess limitations or barriers for people to kind of push through that to get to the other side and what I mean by other side is moving forward in their life well, I think we're our own worst enemy, right? I think the questions we ask ourselves, like, why did he run off with her? Or what's wrong with me? Or why don't they love me anymore? We're keeping ourselves stuck with questions like that. So I think quite often it's really us that are, are the people that are keeping ourselves stuck. So it's just a really shifting of the focus to be able to power you through any of those sort of obstacles, whether it's the words you're using, maybe you're telling your story over and over again. I know us women tend to do that maybe a bit more than you men do, but we do tell our stories to everyone that will listen so whether that's your mom your family your best friend but then the hairdresser maybe someone you meet in the street how are you they get your whole breakup story all these things keep us stuck so it's about reframing things and giving people the momentum to move forward with really simple steps quality of relationships is a lot what we talk about on the podcast and you kind of talk about it on the other end what would you say you know in terms of a quality you know high quality relationship before preventative now preventative yeah. What would you say are the top three that goes into it before it becomes like really traumatic breakup or divorce? Well, the biggest reason for breakup that I see in my clinic, so the other end, 
is where the communication is broken down. Now that can be, you know, the relationship may be fizzled out over a long period of time, or it can be like a big bang where the conflict just goes off the scale. But quite often I see clients just put issues under the carpet. So one of them may be, usually my client doesn't like conflict. So they think, oh, I'm not going to say anything. I'll just keep my mouth shut because I don't want to have an argument today. But the thing is with that, it stacks up over time. And then the little things become, you know, the things that actually cause resentment in a couple. Um, and if you're not communicating, the other side also feels this. So again, and that's where communication breaks down, the intimacy goes. There's a lot of things that can happen when you're not communicating. So I think underlying all those reasons is, is communication. Awesome. If people wanted to connect with you and learn about more and come to one of your sessions, your conferences, where can they find you? So saradavison.com is my website and Sarah Davison Divorce Coach is my Instagram feed. So I post daily videos up there. So that's a great way to get free tips and information. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sarah. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having me. <laughs>